Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's with a heavy heart that I have to report that Chichi Devane has died of scleroderma. And you know, um, in the last few weeks, many other black um, artists have died. Uh, not only Lady Red, who's a very famous trans drag queen, but also just last week, Chadwick Boseman just passed away of colon cancer. And really got me to think that, you know, there's a lot of inequities in healthcare, especially amongst African Americans. So I think today I'm going to do another full face of black owned beauty brands. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And just, I'm just going to get these brows gone and start talking. Alright, so brows are gone and face tapes are on. I think today my hair is getting a bit long so I need to pop on my cap early. It's so dirty this one. I'll get a new one. Brand new wig cap for a brand new day. Okay, today I think I'm going to want to go for a kind of an Instagram baddie kind of look again. Today I'm going to be using quite a lot of new stuff I got from Juvia's Place. It's a black owned beauty brand that we should be supporting. They're giving away a lot of money this year to support other black owned businesses, so it's, it's for a good cause. Okay, so let's um, put on these face tapes. So I'm going to use, first I'm going to use this Juvia's Place Velvety Matte Foundation in Marasau. Okay, I'm just going to cut the block, cover those browns. A little bit white today. Okay, I'm gonna do the eyes first today. Let's map out those brows. I'll be using the Juvia's Place um, Contour Stick in Guinea. Oops, let's clean that up. And I'm using the concealer from Juvia's Place as well. This is 24. Okay, just to frame the face a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in the eyes first. I'll be using the Juvia's Place Concealer just to dot them on the eyes. Okay, I'm going to go in with a wet base today. Help the colours pop a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to go in with the Wahala Palette. Okay, really nice and colourful palette from Juvia's Place. Okay, I'm going to go in with the colour Fire. Okay, and let's put that on the outer corner. Yeah, so unfortunately, um, Chichi Devane has passed away from scleroderma. I was thinking about it. Out of the 153 drag queens that are, have passed through Drag Race America, two have died, and both of them are queens of color. Sahara Davenport, who was a queen on season two and the partner of Minilla Luzon, passed away in um, 2012 of heart failure. Okay, and she was only 27 at the time. And Chichi Devane was 34, so very young also. I mean, there are so many more white queens of black than black queens in the cast, so you know, there should be quite an even distribution, but you know, black queens seem to be much more disadvantaged than other queens of colour and white queens. And of course, um, there's um, Lady Red, who was a co-host of Hey Queen with Johnny McGovern. And she has she also passed away a few weeks ago from cyclic vomiting syndrome, another big loss. She was a trans queen of colour. I'm going for a bit of a halo today. And of course, another thing that um, spurred me to make this video is the horrible things that have been happening in Kenosha. Okay, where Jacob Blake was shot seven times in the back by police officers and he was completely unarmed okay, in front of his children. So that's quite shocking. I mean, even in these, this day and age, when with all the Black Lives Matter protests, police are still have the gall to do something like that. Really hope things change in America very soon. Let's go in with a smaller brush. Okay, I'm going to pack on the color Sis, which is a very deep brown in the outer corner. In a corner. And I was looking, okay, I decided to have a look and see whether I could find any reports of um, queens who have, you know, succumbed to coronavirus. And I could only find one black queen, Mona Foot, okay, from New York City, who passed away from coronavirus. We do know now that African Americans and people of color are disproportionately affected by coronavirus, not only health wise, okay, but also economically. They're the ones that are more likely to be in um, essential jobs, okay, running your supermarkets and caring in nursing homes than white people who can usually safe distance and hold up in their houses quite easily. I'm going to use Unsilence, which is this orange, just buff in between. And blend this up. Small circular motions. Okay, and I also got this other um, the Nomad by Juvia's Place. I'm going to use this transition colour here to just blend out that pinky red. Let's 
opening up the pink. Okay, so just building up the colors. I'm going to use some of BU. This is deep plum. And I also went and looked, okay, at celebrities who have died in 2020. Okay, and there's this list that I found. And basically in the top 20, all the white male celebrities who have died in 2020 all died at average age of about 80 to 90, okay? Whereas all the black ones died young. Okay, so what's going on there? I mean, the healthcare disparities are really quite glaring in America that black people tend to die at a younger age and maybe they don't have um, good access to healthcare. I'm going to do the foundation for the rest of the face now. I'm going to mix in some of my Uma Beauty in Honey Honey, okay, to give it a bit of colour. This is a little, this foundation is a little bit light. So I've got some Honey Honey, so these two play well together. And a touch of the Juvia's Place in Marisol. Yeah, that looks a little bit more like $2. Hmm, I'm going to zip there, ignore that. Ooh. Okay, Uma Beauty, Bronze Venus. Okay, and if you look beyond just death and illness, um, black queens also seem to be disadvantaged in other ways as well. I mean, Kennedy Davenport of season 7, shortly after her season, had to go on a GoFundMe to save her home from foreclosure. Uh, I don't see white queens doing that. Bank loans and everything seem to come so easily to white queens. I mean, Miss Cracker and Cameron Michaels in season 10 said that they took out tens of thousands of dollars of loans just to fund the drag race um, costuming and stuff like that. The disparities really, really get quite stuck if you look into it like that. Okay, and now the concealer, the Juvia's Place concealer, this is 24. Ah, oh, damn it! Never mind, that's gonna cut the crease anyway. I can fix that later. All right, so let's just powder this now. Deepen up those brows with some cis from the Wahala palette. Fade it into the front of it. Okay, let's knock off some of this big so it doesn't look too crazy. Deepen up the eyes again. Okay, and then going back in with the concealer. Okay, let's contour. We really have to ask ourselves why black people seem to be at such a disadvantage compared to white people. Okay, there's, I mean, obviously I've spoken about this before, but there's systemic racism that goes on in all walks of life. I mean, Chi Chi Devane, even in her, in her season, she, she mentioned that she, at a very young age, had operated a gun, okay, and had already joined a gang because she felt that that's the only way that she could protect herself. She had already smelt brains being blown out of someone's head by the time she was a teenager. White queens obviously uh, also have this advantage, but the stories are much different. I mean, a lot of times, um, the support systems are there to, you know, to help white queens out. I mean, if they go to college and stuff like that, it's much easier for white queens to get to college than black queens. Okay, let's come to the news. Access to the American dream is not the same, okay? From different races. And I think that's what has really been brought to the front lately that we need systemic changes, okay? We need to start supporting more black owned brands to try to smooth out the inequities that black people have been facing systemically, all the way from education to housing to healthcare. Oh, by the way, I, I'm also using a Juvia's Place eyeshadow, the Masquerade, okay, a mixture of all these brown shades to contour. I'm just going to cut that crease again with my concealer. I think I'm going to go in with Stand Up, which is a Kind of a bronze shimmer from the Wahala palette. Tag that onto the inner lid there. Okay, and then grab the BU, which is a maroon color. Let's blend the sides in. Change your smaller brush. Okay, so just putting it along the border of that brown and that shimmer. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Giza, which is from the Masquerade palette. Okay, 
here, this is a, which is a white let's put that in there. I really need a black, so I'm going to pop in with uh, Woman Beauty Black Y'all and pack that into the outer and inner corner. So I just need that extra little drama. Using my Cleopatra ink from Woman Beauty. Oh god, face tapes have fallen off. Alright, I'm just going to do this off camera and fix this and I'll be right back. Alright, got my face tapes back on. I'm just going to snatch a little bit of a pink today. Not sure what difference it makes, but let's just see how this works. Let's go in with the under eye. I'm gonna use a straight edge. I will be using BU, okay, the maroon start at the outer corner. This extent. And bring it down just below. And blend that out with the fire. And using the black yaw, just gonna bring that into the outer, outer corner. And grabbing the concealer again, just using that for my inner corner. You know, normally I would use clown white for this, but let's just see how this works. You see that it opens up the eye completely. Set that with some white. I'm using this glitter from the Bahala palette. Just popping it on the inner corner. Spring that eyeliner. Alright, and for blush, I will be using Unsilence, which is this orangey tone from the Wahala palette. Knock off some of this bake. Just get these nostrils. Okay, lips. This is going to line my lips. After lining that, I'm just going to fill it in with my Uma Beauty in Maya. Clean it up. Pop some foundation in the middle. And let's using another fluffy brush, gonna go in with um, BU also, the plum shade. Let's do deepen up corner here. And blend it all in. All right. I'm just gonna throw on some lashes and some finishing touches, and I'll be back with the finished look and a wrap up. All right, this is the finished look. Uh, had a bit of trouble putting the baby hairs down. It started to dry and um, just look kind of like a wet little slut on the side of the road now. All right, so <laughs> if anyone has any tips on how to lay these baby hands down, please leave them in the comments down below. And to sum up, I think we really have to think about the systemic inequalities that black people face, okay? Um, not just in policing. When we say that the police need to reflect the populace they're serving, so do doctors, okay? Do doctors and dermatologists need to reflect the populace they're serving so that we can serve minorities with much more efficiency. I, I will do a video in the future about dermatology on dark skin. I think that's something that's very, very important to know as well. All right, so if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, ring that post notifications bell, and um, I'm linking Juvia's place down below. Buy some of their stuff. They're supporting black businesses and support black businesses as much as you can as well. All right, okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. Watch me out of videos. <laughs> Alright, bye bye.